Hi, this is Tammy Frazier bringing you an IVS computer technology tutorial on inserting images from a document camera into Smart Notebook software for use with a smart board or smart slate. The main benefit of inserting images from your document camera into the Smart Notebook software is it allows you access to all the Smart Notebook software's tools over top of anything that you can view underneath your document camera. So let's take a look at the steps to insert those images into Smart Notebook software. First, you'll need to make sure that you have the software that comes with your document camera installed on your computer. If you're running an Elmo document camera, the software you're looking for is the ImageMate software and the icon should look like an IM inside a gray box. If you're using a Lumens document camera, the software that comes with that one is the Ladybug software and the icon looks like a circle with a ladybug in it. That is not installed on your computer. The step-by-step -step directions are on the last page of the handout that we gave you during your document camera training. Next, you'll want to verify that you have a connection between your computer and your document camera, and that connection is going to be made using a USB cable. That cable came inside the box of your document camera, and it is connected in between the document camera and the computer. Once you have both the software and the USB connection made, you're ready to start inserting images directly into Smart Notebook software. We need to first make sure that we have that object or image underneath the camera head of this document camera. Next, you're going to make sure that you have Smart Notebook software open. And from within the Smart Notebook software menu bar, we're looking for the option Insert. And from that Insert menu, we're looking for the third option from the top, which is Picture from Scanner. Once that is selected, a menu is going to appear. And from within that menu, you're going to choose which document camera you have in your classroom. If you have an Elmo document camera, the drop-down menu option you're looking for is Image Mate Twain. If you have the Lumen Visual Presenter, the option you're looking for in that drop-down menu is Visual Presenter Twain. And we'll take a look at both of those. Once you've selected that, you're going to choose the button marked Scan, and a preview window will appear, which will have a live image of whatever is displaying underneath your document camera. Once you've opened up that preview window, you're looking for either an icon that looks like a camera, if you're using an Elmo document camera, or a button marked Capture you're using the lumens. What those are going to do is tell the system what image is being displayed and which is the image you're choosing to insert into Smart Notebook software. Once you've selected either that camera icon or the capture, you're going to choose the red X in the upper right hand corner to close the window. Once that window is closed, your image is going to be inserted onto your page. So let's take a look at those steps. So I already have my object placed beneath the lens of my document camera, and I already have Smart Notebook software open. So I'm just going to turn the page so that I have a blank page, and I'm going to select from the menu bar the option marked Insert. And then the third option from the top is Picture from Scanner. And I currently have an Elmo document camera connected, so what I'm looking for is Image Mate Twain. If I choose that arrow to the right, you'll see that I have a couple of other options. I'm looking for Image Mate Twain because I'm running an Elmo document camera. And then once I select the button marked Scan, I'm going to get a preview of the live image, which is currently displaying underneath my document camera. In this case, this is some student work that I wanted my students to come up and correct. So I'm looking for the icon that captures this still image of whatever's under my document camera. And in this case, it's going to be the picture, the camera. So I'm going to select that button. And then next, I'm going to choose the X in the upper right corner. Once I select that X in the upper right corner, the Smart Notebook software is going to take my image and insert it into my Smart Notebook software page. You'll notice that it's quite a bit larger than perhaps I'd like it. So what I'm going to do is use the scroll bar to come down and then just select and drag so that I can see the bottom right corner of this image. And then using that resize handle, which is the white circle in the lower right, I can drag my image to make it a smaller size, whatever your preference is for displaying on your smart board. So at this point, my students can come up and use the shape tool and circle an error that they see. They can use the pen tool and highlight words that they'd like to correct. They can use the regular pen tool to make an uppercase letter. So they're able to edit directly on top of whatever they displayed on that document camera. So the process is going to be similar if you have the Lumens document camera. 
the menu is just going to look a little bit different. When I get to that drop down menu, I'm going to select instead visual presenter Twain and then the button mark scan. And that's going to open up our preview panel. And instead of having an image of a camera, we're going to use the button mark capture and then select the X at the top right to close out that panel. So hopefully you and your students are going to find having images from the document camera into Smart Notebook software very useful. And let us know at IVS if you have any further questions. Thank you.